Hey, my name is Justin Case, and I want to talk to you about the Helium Network today, particularly the last couple hips that have passed, specifically hip 138, return to HNT, hip 139, the phase out of CBRS, and hip 141, single token governance and the Helium release proposal. So let's get into this. Before I do, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. That way you'll get more content like this or at least know when it comes out so you can check it out and learn more about other deep end projects that are happening as well as issues within the governance of these deep end projects like I'm talking about right now or what deep end projects are working better than others. So first of all, HIP 138, return to HNT. Uh, if you look at my wallet right here, you'll see that I'm doing pretty well with uh, the return to HNT. Um, I haven't transferred uh, any of my rewards in a while. So as you can see, I have HNT, I have mobile, I have IoT ready to claim. And why would I want to claim it right now? Well, because we've returned to HNT, that means that all of those devices, all those Wi-Fi devices out there, Wi-Fi hotspots, all of those IoT hotspots that you got back in 2020, they're all making HNT once again. Good? I mean, I, I kind of like it, but it does make me worry because during this time with mobile, I had gotten that CBRS. I had made a lot of mobile tokens. And are they going to be worthless now? What's, what's going to happen if I keep them? If I hold, are they just going to go down to nothing because no one's using mobile anymore? So if you are concerned with something like this and you are in your wallet like I am right now, you can go over to where your tokens are in your wallet. You can press that orange up and down arrow and that will allow you to swap your tokens for HNT. So if you want to do it, maybe now is the time to do it. Just click on where it says zero mobile. I'm going to max that out. As you can see, I've got a lot of mobile. I'm going to confirm that and it can say, oh, for that amount, I can get almost 2000 HNT. Now, remember, you need to have Solana in your wallet in order to do this. So if you haven't ever transferred any in, you should consider doing it now in order to make stuff like that happen. Um, as you can see, I've got about 0 0.20 Solana. But, um, I mean, you don't really need a lot in order to start making these types of transfers or conversions. Okay, so when did this happen? When did we start doing HNT instead of mobile or IoT? And the answer is, looks like January 30th, at the end of last month. Uh, this is uh, one of my devices, which was, uh, it's an outdoor hotspot. It was making around 2,000 um, mobile, and now it's making 0.8642 uh, HNT, or more to the point, I think, as of recently, uh, 0.8294 HNT. Um, yeah, that switch over, like I said, was uh, at the end of January. So uh, if you haven't started thinking about what you're going to do, uh, what you're going to do with the not just that mobile but other mobile that you have available maybe in other wallets or other places which we'll talk about uh at the end of this video um time to start thinking about it right now okay that said uh i do want to talk about hip 139 phase out of CBRSs. Now, as many of you know, I had a CBRS. I had two antennas attached to it, and I came into my wallet. Uh, sorry, not my wallet. I came into uh, Helium Geek a couple days ago and noticed that Fluffy Latte Mockingbird said zero, 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 zero. That, uh, for whatever reason, my radios had no heartbeats. Now, I was a bit worried and I jumped over, uh, so here's the trade-up. We'll talk about that in a second. But I dropped over to my radio, and I saw that it was off-air. Tried to restart it. Didn't work. Well, here's the thing. There is the trade-up right now. Now, for those of you who are not aware, uh, you have until the end of this month to trade in those antennas and uh, get, well, Outdoor hotspot, indoor hotspot, uh, de depends on what you have. And uh, depending on what you have, depends on how many uh, they'll give you. Uh, it kind of goes into it right here. 
so if you have um, one CBRS indoor, they'll give you one indoor, uh, their Wi-Fi hotspots. Uh, I'm talking about Helium Will. Uh, if you have one uh, out, uh, one outdoor, they'll give you an indoor or an outdoor for it. And if you have uh, one of the Nova 436s, 436s were expensive. That was like a $10,000 device at its time. They will give you three hotspots, indoor or outdoor. Um, considering that the outdoor hotspot is worth somewhere around $500, you got to wonder, uh, you're not... I hope you made money while you had the CBRS. That's all I have to say. So as it says here, in order to do all of this, you got to log into your Helium dashboard. If you haven't already, I would go there. I would check it out. As you can see, I went in there. I did the trade up. I put in my information and they used to have a form. Now it's actually directly within um, your Helium mobile builder dashboard. And as you can see at the bottom there, uh, I chose some outdoor hotspots for the trade-up. So if you haven't done this now, maybe you should. I did this about, I'm going to say a week and a half ago. Uh, and then maybe a couple days later, I got the notification saying uh, it's been processed. And then a couple days after that, I noticed that my, uh, that my antennas went offline. So uh, what are you going to do when your antennas go offline? Well, my answer is it's done. Unplug the damn thing. Uh, the one caveat to that is that uh, you have to um, wait until about March. And then, or I, yeah, all right, once March starts, they say that when you plug it back in again, uh, it will connect to Helium. Helium will update the firmware to revert it back uh, to the default settings. So then you can use it for other things. But right now it's still using the Helium firmware. So if you want to get that firmware off, you don't need to do it right now when it shuts down. You can just wait until March comes in. In March, plug it back in and they should have everything ready so that it will update the firmware and then you're good to go and then you can use it hopefully on other projects. But I gotta tell you right now, I've looked for other projects and there aren't any. So don't expect it to necessarily happen. Uh, yeah, very frustrating. I was here saying like, okay, okay, uh, it, it's, GPS status is locked, core status is connected, so why is it off air? Why is Spectrumax is trying? I didn't know what was going on. It's very frustrating. Okay, uh, one last thing that we've got to talk about right now, and sorry, I am jumping through this app as I try to do things, is HIP 141, the single token um, governance and helium release proposal. So basically, what it proposed was, hey, uh, first of all, uh, we're not going to use mobile or RIT anymore, so let's do everything with HNT. That makes sense. Um, because you know mobile and IoT are worthless now, right? We're we're just going to use HNT. The second thing was, what are we then going to do with the locked mobile and IoT that you used to vote with? Well, we're going to unlock it. So now uh, VE, because you know technically it's proxies, whatever's, uh, is HNT now. Uh, all the voting is HNT now. Um, so. If you check, you'll verify your mobile, your IoT, it's unlocked. You can go, you can swap them out now. Um, I don't know, I'm a little frustrated with that because quite honestly, that just meant that, you know, the, the locking was supposed to say, you care about it so much, you locked up those tokens, right? But when Nova decided, hey, I, we want to do stuff differently, I feel like they just said, hey, uh, to all you whales who did what we asked you to do, we're just going to give you a give you that money back. Don't, don't worry about it. You can have all your, all your crypto back. So you can do with whatever you want. Now, um, they don't want to screw over their VIPs, you know? Um, but I'm hoping that means good things that maybe some of those whales will figure out then how to do a pump and dump. You know, they're going to pump it up as high as you can pump up uh, mobile, pump up IOT. And then of course they're going to dump it, but hopefully you and me will be along for that ride when they dump it. Um, so that's part of HIP 141, that they returned HNT 
uh, and uh, that they unlocked the mobile and IoT. The last thing that they did uh, as part of that is the helium release proposal. They I, honestly, I think Nova Labs kind of got sick of the way governance was working. I mean, we had so many crazy hips. I mean, we're talking about hip 141. These guys in the governance, they they love to make regulations and rules. I honestly don't think even Nova wanted to do it that much. So they came up with a different plan. They said, hey, let's instead of doing that, let's um, let's have a roadmap. And I don't know if this is actually a real roadmap. Somebody showed me this, heliumroadmap.com. <laughs> uh, return to HNT, increase coverage, reduce bills, and there is no third step. I got to I got to think this is a joke. Somebody just put this here. But it was hilarious when I saw it. Um, so the idea is uh sort of Nova Labs is going to direct things finally. They're going to create a roadmap which Makes sense. Most companies do. They have a roadmap for their uh, H1, H2, so the first half of the year, second half of the year, or something like that, and uh, see how things go. And then they will have us vote on that roadmap to see if everyone agrees, yays or nays, on that. And that way, we won't have these crazy hip proposals all the time. Uh, we'll have a nice, simple roadmap so we understand ahead of time what's going to be expected for the next six months when it comes to helium. I really hope that works out. I really hope these things happen. Um, <laughs> uh, and I really hope that for those of you who still have a CBRS, you do the trade up as soon as possible because this ends uh, at the end of February. And if you haven't done it by then, then you will probably, well, I'm not gonna say be stuck with your CBRS because we're all stuck with our CBRS, but you won't be able to at least get some sort of trade up to uh, qualify for like outdoor hotspots. I did outdoor hotspots. I am waiting right now. I got the confirmation email. I have four that are supposed to come and I'm realizing that if I put them at like my sister-in-law's house and at my rental houses, uh, because of their locations, they're gonna get uh, about 1.5 HNT a day, all of them, uh, compared to the 0.8 that I get right here because I live around nothing. So, hey, maybe it's a good thing, you know? We'll see how it goes. All right, hey, well, thank you for watching again. Please do like and subscribe if you want more content like this. This is just in case, and you have a great evening.